So depletion is kind of a special area that might be in certain types of industries. So for example, if you have an oil well or something like that, well, now you you don't just have a building that's going to depreciate over time. You have a, an, an asset that you have to estimate. You would think how much is there? How much oil is under the ground? What's the value of it? And then obviously you should be able, if you were able to have the knowledge of how much was there, you can then calculate as you as you extract it you know how much has been depleted and so on and so forth and that valuation so that would be a special area uh, depreciation discussed in publication 946 how to depreciate property now many small businesses if you are a like a gig worker or something you might not have a whole lot of property that you have to deal with depreciation with and these days you might be able to depreciate most of it in the year that you buy it like microphones and stuff if you're a youtuber or something because of the special rules for accelerated uh depreciation that could come in place but depreciation typically is something that affects more small businesses meaning if you buy larger pieces of equipment you're gonna have to deal with depreciation depreciation causes all kinds of problems because it's more complicated than simply a cash-based system. We have to track all the records for the depreciation. And then it really kind of becomes a problem when we dispose of property or sell property, because then we have to deal with the, the adjusted costs. We have to deal with the fact that we depreciated part of it. Is there any difference in the type of tax rates in terms of capital gains versus ordinary income when we sell it and those kind of questions come up with regards to depreciation so it's often even for small businesses kind of an area of complication there's also could be differences between depreciation methods for taxes versus bookkeeping which we talked about earlier in terms of best practices for bookkeeping versus what the tax code says we need to do according to the tax code so we'll talk about depreciation in some detail uh, later, uh, although again, depreciation is a place that you can dive into for some time. So installment sales discussed in publication 537 installment sales. So that's a, a type of sales structure that, ha that could be set up and there could be special rules with regards to installment sales, which again would be somewhat of a, of a, uh, unusual situation, but not that unusual that those types of sales could come up. And then how would you recognize rec revenue within them? Long-term contract methods of accounting, see uh, section 460. So if we have a, a long-term contract, again, th the, the long-term contracts could complicate things like revenue, revenue uh, generation principles, and some industries that are engaged in them could be specialized areas so like construction for example might be an area of specialization due to differences in accounting uh, methods and therefore tax treatment often as well so change in accounting method once you have set your accounting method you must generally get irs approval before you can change to another method a change in your accounting method includes uh, a change in number one the overall method such as uh, such as from cash to an accrual method so one of the core concepts of accounting in general is consistency it, because we want to be able to make comparisons year over year so when we think of accounting we're typically thinking internal decision making from management as well as external decision making for people like investors who are using financial statements to try to invest in like stocks stocks for example so that in that case i want comparable performance statements year over year consistency 